has become my morning, y'all. Riding bikes, watching YouTube, and then this little guy comes to snuggle after he gets dressed for the morning. You don't even have a blanket this time. But you got your squish. <laughs> this has been my breakfast on repeat, y'all. Keto bun, sausage, cheese, and a fried egg. It's so good. I'm going to try, even though I really want to go to Aldi and get more bread. I feel like this bread is not good for you. <laughs> like Making my own bread would be so much better. But this is so convenient. Comment down below if you like try to do a low-carb lifestyle. Do you think this like keto bread, like pre-made stuff is any good? It's probably not. All right. The bus just got the boys. Merritt is super excited. It's his day to sled. Today, McCoy went sledding yesterday. <laughs> it was so fun. I was subbing and all the kids were just like, you can imagine, just like so excited. It was so fun. Anyway, all right, y'all. It's show day. I don't know if I said that or not, but it's all hands on deck. I've kind of got everything laid out here. This is Merritt's. I don't know if I showed y'all this either. This is Merritt's sweater that I got him. I love for him to show in a polo. Um, zip up that or zip up hoodie. Not, did I say vest? Zip up uh, sweater like this. I think they look so nice, but I could not find the green in his size. He has a green. I found one that was a large, but it was too big, so he'll have to use it next year. But um, there they go. Goodbye. Um, anyway, so I didn't know what to do. I, I shouldn't be. I, it doesn't really matter that it's polo. I just know that polos are nice and they're thick, uh, especially for these winter shows because it's so dang cold. Um, but I did find this one on Amazon and I really like it. It really fits him nice. It's a good, pretty, I don't know. It's not good lighting over here. Good, pretty green color. So I'll link this for you. Um, if you have a uh, little boys, but I think this would be so pretty for Christmas too, I think, but just any time of year. So this, oh, I'm just looking at it now. I might need to, to steam this. Um, anyway, this is his sweater, and I think it's going to look so good with Doc because he's that really pretty red-brown. So, you know, it's my job to make him look nice, and I'm just doing my job. Anyway, he'll put this um, kind of black and white shirt under it, and then he'll just wear jeans. And then he's got his new black cowboy hat here. His hat can is in the trailer. I don't know if we'll bring that or not, or we'll just keep it in this. It's really, this show is really dusty and dirty. And of course there'll be cattle hair everywhere. So I'll probably just keep it wrapped up until he's ready to go. These are just clothes for him to fit <clears throat> and clip and wash and all that in. Um, and then of course his boots and his belt buckle. And then he wanted a cap, um, just to wear until he puts his hat on. And this is just all coy stuff. He doesn't have to be fancy. He can just be comfy and warm. So I will, at some point today, I need to get their gloves too. I'll have to ask Craig where those are. Um, they wore them to the cutting, or to the cutting, to the sorting the other day. But um, I'll put their stuff in their bags and we'll put that in the car. I'm just gonna go pick them up from school. Not early. Last year I got them early and we really did sit around a long time. Plus, Merritt won't be back until three from the sledding, so. I didn't want him to miss that. So we'll have plenty of time. We'll get there um, and we'll be ready to show. Now I'm going to get ready for the day and then we'll finish getting these things together. Okay, y'all. I've got makeup on. I haven't done my hair yet because I got a new straightening yarn I want to try and show you. Um, it's just from Amazon. I have had my Chi one, my pink and green Chi one for like three years and it is just starting to like not um, get hot enough and it's kind of like gross and I can't get it clean. I mean, how, what's the lifespan on these things? I don't know. My biggest problem with it is it doesn't have an automatic shut off and at least twice a week I leave the dang thing on. So I did get a new one. We'll try it out. Um, it just had good reviews. I, I don't know. You know me and Amazon. I just try whatever. Um, so I'm going to do that. So I haven't really done anything to my hair yet. No, I mean, this is how it's going to look anyway, because I'm going to be wearing a like beanie hat and probably a wild rag scarf and my big coat oh speaking of coats i got a new coat i'm not gonna wear it tonight but i will show it to you because like i said it's dusty and gross and um cold and i don't want to get my new coat uh, messed up but my problem is, is i can't find my old coat but craig thinks it's in his truck so we're gonna try to find it that's not i didn't get a new coat because of that i got a new coat because i've had my old coat i don't even know if I've, i'm sure you've seen it on video i always wear it for sure when we do when we cut down the christmas tree but it's a big brown Eddie Bauer coat with like a fur hood and I have had it uh probably we got it the because Craig got like a brown one too the same time I did like the first year we were married so like it's 13 years old and it no longer fits very nicely <laughs> and I needed a new coat so 
Um, but I will wear that old one tonight. Blah, 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 blah. You don't need to know that. I'll show you the coat later. Craig has these silage and earlage samples and he said, you don't have a little box that we could repackage this in. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> you want to tell them what you thought <laughs> It was sitting over here in the corner, um, like under stuff, and I saw these boxes, and I was like, "What is that granola?" <laughs> it looked like granola from far away. Obviously, I know what salad is. Anyway, um, I'm gonna open some Amazon packages, and then I'll share everything else with you. I really don't have that much more besides the coat and the um. Ooh, speaking of coats, you found my ooh, you found my old one, so. That's nice. I'll wear it tonight. Um, the hair straightener, which I'll do. I mean, my hair is straight right now, but it, it's got like some waves underneath and stuff. So we'll, like this right here. Kind of looks funny right here. So we'll at least give it a shot and see how it works. All right, I'm going to open these. I'm not, I don't know if it's going to be anything fun or not. I'm trying to think. I, like I told you before, I've just been ordering like Dawn and Tide and Downy because I don't want to go to the store. So it might not even be anything fun. <laughs> I forgot this was coming today, so I, the boys don't know what's coming today. Uh, we'll see if I give it, I don't know when, the, I don't know when we'll give it to them. Maybe tomorrow because, um, that'll be like an early out and they'll have time to actually play it, but they're not even going to be home till late tonight, so I might just show up to them tomorrow, but, uh, this is what they use their money with and they still have a ton of money left over too. They want to get a white bitch for downstairs, so we'll see if they get that, um, but they ended up, I know I asked y'all for recommendations and everybody that gave me um like their input said to do what we did so we got the other switch which turns into like a handheld um i just thought if we get two if we have two um switch lights they're never going to use the switch we have anymore you know what i mean because half the time more 90 percent of the time they're using it as a handheld so this will be fine and then craig did say too they could always put this one on the tv downstairs um like hook it up downstairs um so that like if koi wanted to play nba 2k downstairs and there was another you know what i mean like i know it's dumb to have two of them, but just whatever it was their money that they saved so anyway um we did get the headset too so they can talk to their friends this is gonna alleviate the like my friends are on and i can't play with them but my friends are on and i want to play with them and you know anyway because they only get like so much time a day like a lot of time to do this and so when your friends aren't on when it's your a lot of time then yeah anyway um i did i didn't tell them about these but i went ahead and got the carry cases I'll link all this for you in case you're interested. Um, we have the big carry case that fits like the whole thing and the um, it has like the slots for the games and all that stuff and it fits like the pro controllers and all of that. But um, this this just fits like the the switch and the little like the hand it's basically like a, the switch light you know like it just fits this and i think the um charger fits in here too so that way when they go to mississippi next week um they can take this i don't know that they want to hook it up to the tv because i don't know that they're i'm pretty sure they're not their cousins are not coming and that's when they would want to play on the big tv um so i'll talk to them about where they want to bring the whole like tv hookup or if they just want to bring their like small ones so um this is what that's what this little i'll open it hang on oh this is perfect it's got little spots for the games too um and then it holds i think the switch goes in this part and then it's big enough like wide enough to put the uh charger down into and anything else any anything small that they want to put down in here as well so that will be good and then they'll have like a little carry case for it because i'm sure they're going to want to play this um play them in the car too so anyway that's what we got there um did i need a more varsity letters and a new shirt probably not but i saw this shirt done like this um on like a western boutique and of course it was like i don't know 70 dollars. and i was like i'm gonna buy me another gilded glidden gilded shirt and some more letters and make my own because that's what i do um and this yellow this lime one um which is one of my autumn colors i think it's crazy but it is um uh what was i gonna say oh my gosh i don't even know what i was talking about oh it was on like i don't know it was like 12 dollars when i got it. i don't know what price it is now it's they change like the colors change and the sizing change you just have to go on i'll link it for you but i thought oh that's the color i want to want that something fun really my shade is more like more of a lime um than this bright yellow but whatever it's fun and it's cute um and then i went on and found these fun colored letters which i'll link for you too i've not had these before 
we'll see how they do i might get the might get to might get to this today we'll see um but i thought this would be so cute to wear like not like wear it like on the day we arrive at the convention like my travel outfit <laughs> <laughs> because it matches my um let's see i'll show you this coat in just a second let me get this granola out of the way <laughs> it matches my cow purse that i'll be oh sorry that i'll be bringing it's got like the y'all have seen this before it's barrington um i got craig and the boys got it for me for christmas two years ago now oh, everything's falling anyway it's the same bright fun colors so i thought it'd be fun um to have eek to <laughs> I don't know where that, and I just thought it was so cute. Oh, so cute. Y'all know I'm obsessed with these sweatshirts. They are so good. And it stinks because I have that red and the green one, but they're like put up for Christmas. So I wanted one to wear like all year. So I did get that. We'll see how they work. And now I have lots more letters to play with. So I don't know. We'll see. I wish that this green and this blue were one of the letters of the Howdy because I really like those colors better than like, I don't know, this. I don't really love, but it'll be fine. And I think it's cute. At least all the letters that I wanted to use were a different color and they didn't like duplicate colors so there we go i'll be making a howdy shirt um uh, comment down below if y'all have gotten one of these sweatshirts they're so good and so comfortable anyway um only thing i did wish is that the bottoms weren't like uh tapered like uh elastic at the bottom i do like something that's a little more like flowy like those amazon sweatshirts with the snaps down the front oh, that one's good too but anyway this is so cute love that and then of course i had to get zip fizz i'm almost out and i needed some for traveling so i got grape which is my all-time fave and then i got pink lemonade which i haven't gotten forever um but the boys have one probably like once every two weeks i'll let them have one just like in the morning if like uh tomorrow morning i'll probably let them have one like mornings like that that we're out super late and they're just kind of dragging um and they asked uh for pink lemonade i, I love this one too but i kind of got it so that they could have it every now and then so that's what we got um from that little amazon and then i'll try this coat on for you it is a north face which y'all know i love um it had it had um i don't know if this exact jacket had amazing reviews but this um, kind of whatever it is like it's not down but it's they're like formulated whatever it's lightweight which is nice because I hate like that one I'm gonna wear tonight is so dang bulky um, but this is supposed to be lightweight but just as warm as like a big down coat so I'm excited for that and then this which we'll try here in a little bit is the um flat iron that I got y'all know I'm gonna link everything for you don't worry it'll be all down below and then once I link it I usually at least I try to put it in my Amazon storefront like this will go under beauty this will go under fashion that sweatshirt will go under fashion you know so it's there um so you don't have to like find the video back you can just go to my Amazon storefront and look for the stuff so um it's always there available for you um I don't know this had really good reviews so we're gonna try that out and then I got this stuff for travel i anti for is because y'all know my hair gets crazy when i go down south and all the humidity but it's huge thank goodness we're not flying so i can just put it in my bag and it'll be fine um but i got this because i thought it's gonna be small like packable but it'll be fine i do i've had this hairspray before and it's really good um and like i said it does the humidity control which i'm gonna need when we're in new orleans okay let's try this coat on shall we first of all let's talk about this color it is such a pretty like mossy olivey green i think it's gonna just look so nice with everything um like if i'm wearing an orange bottom or you know how i like to do all my autumn colored um colored jeans um it'll look good with that not that it matters it's just a coat but i really do love it um i did they haven't come in i think they're coming tomorrow i actually ordered some isotoner um they're sort of like a rosewood pinky kind of glove that i thought would look good with this green so that i had new gloves to go with my new coat um i did size up to the extra extra large and i'm glad i did because i don't know if that extra large would have fit my pink um jacket that's just like y'all see me wear it i'm sure it's just sort of it's not pink it's more of like a rose gold mauvey color that i've had forever and it's north face is an extra large and it fits fine but it's stretchy and this is not real stretchy so i did size up and i'm really glad i did it's got it's hard to tell you'll be able to see when you if you look at the link but sorry i'm just in lounger but it's like high low so that's nice it's like sort of shorter in the front and longer in the back anyway it's warm just sit, just like being in it right now in the house so i'm hoping that it will um keep me warm in these crazy uh, winters that we're having <laughs> okay 
Okay, I just remembered I had not shown you the um, sort of Valentine's touches that I put in here. Oh, that's the Shein haul that's coming. I still have stuff coming, um, but I'll show you at some point. Um, okay, what we did over here, I love, I'm going to link these for you again. This little felt heart garland is so stinking cute, and it came with two. So I got this one, and I got another one I'll show you in a minute. I put these little pillows. I think this was a garland I got from Ross, and I cut it all up. Uh, and there were just little pillows and I stuck them in that tree for the past couple of years or maybe just, yeah, like two years now. Anyway, I thought they'd be cute in this jar. Y'all know I love to use the jar. I did pumpkins and then we did ornaments in it. So that is that. And then I put this decor back up and then I did use my little cactus um, Valentine stuff over here. My friend Elizabeth gave me that little will stick together. So I think that's cute in here. So that's how this little area looks. I just love that garland, y'all. Oh, so cute. And then, okay, over here, this is not Valentine's decor, but my mama got me a couple more of the little buckets. So I just put those over here for now. I haven't figured out what exactly is going in them, but I'm sure they'll get filled. This is my only problem area. Over here, I have, don't mind those, that. <laughs> stack of papers but over here I use it for my paints which is cute because it's like it's um I don't know can you tell that it's got like the angle to it but what did I do for it? I don't guess I put anything in it at Halloween or maybe I put that little ghost garland in there I can't remember um but at Christmas I put put those little vintage puzzles in it and it was cute but I don't know what to put in it for Valentine's I need to go shopping um anyway this up here is the other little garland isn't that just so cute I love it and then I put this little truck. Um, I could have used it in my main decor, to be honest, but it had the little rainbow hearts in it. I just thought it looked so cute in here. So I ended up putting it over here on this side. I need to get me some little dollar spot, little Walmart, little cheapo pillows to put right there, um, kind of for Valentine's. I looked on Amazon to try to find something but um i didn't really see anything that i liked and i don't want them to cost a ton of money i did think about doing um like getting just pillows well like the green ones are pillows and pillow covers i thought about getting another set of pillows and just do pillow covers every time the holiday changes but i already have christmas pillows and i already have halloween pillows so it's like yeah i don't know anyway maybe i can just find me some little kind of cutie cheapy ones Somewhere at some time, I don't know. I thought I would go shopping this week. Like I said, I need to do Aldi, but I don't know that I will. I'm just seeing this other little piece of decor I forgot to show you over here. I just put this little love um, right there on my mirror. So I don't know that I said this either. I was talking um, the other day. I might as well sit while I'm chatting with you about the boys going to New Orleans. They're not actually going to the cattle convention with us. They're staying at my mom and daddy's, which is like on the way. Um, last time we had it in New Orleans, it, um, it changes every year. So we've done New Orleans, San Antonio, Houston, Nashville. It was supposed to be in San Diego last year when it was in Houston, but that didn't work because of COVID. Um, but now the summer, it, it, it's the summer convention or the summer meeting is going to be in San Diego. Anyway, it changes all the time. And last time it was in New Orleans, um, it's in Orlando next year, y'all. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, we'll see. I don't know what we're going to take them. I don't know what we'll do. I don't know. Anyway, this year we're taking them out and we're leaving them with my mom and daddy. Last time it was in New Orleans, which was like, I don't know, five years ago. It was before COVID. Um, we did the same thing um, and they stayed with mom and daddy just because like they don't get to hardly ever see them and like we're right there. <laughs> Last time it was way easier because Koi was in, I don't even know. Koi would have been in preschool and Merritt was in first grade and that was way easier just because, you know, it's easier to get caught up at those younger ages, but I think it'll be fine. Um, and they're going to just enjoy um, time in Mississippi because y'all know they love to go down there. So that is happening. And then I don't even know if I talked about this either, but we were supposed to bring the ponies back with us at Christmas. We did not do that because of the weather. If you remember, we got, it was like record low temperatures, like beyond below freezing, like zero temps for days and the roads were crazy and everything was closed and we finally got out of there and we were just like real nervous like a be pulling a horse trailer on icy roads and then what if something were to happen and then the horses i think i did tell we did talk about this i think on the last day of vlogmas anyway if we were to get stuck or something the horse would just be like freezing in that trailer anyway the plan is, is to take the horses down 
um, this time when we go and then come back up through and try, uh, the new horse, um, and hopefully bring her home with us. Um, so that'll be exciting. And she is, I think will be way, well, I know she's been around cattle, um, and probably done, not done sorting, but done things like sorting, but in a real world ranch situation this horse has. So if Merritt wanted to like take this horse and do like ranch sorting with her and then ride Sassy and Pleasure and stuff like that, he could do that. Or he really just loves Sassy so much. He doesn't even care when she acts up. Like he just, that's like his ride or die. So we'll see if he, this new horse is just kind of like, I don't know. We kind of originally thought it would be like something Craig and I would ride. Like if we went trail riding or something like that. And then it kind of evolved into Koi getting this new horse. Horse and now like Merritt might want a new horse to do ranch horse stuff on anyway we'll just see y'all we're just collecting horses <laughs> okay let's try this I was fixing to plug it all in and I thought I should show you what all it comes with what is this oh a soothing conditioner nice um so this is it it's not cute it's black but you know it's supposed to work amazing so I'll take it and it does like my curls like I like too maybe I will maybe I will do some curls with it and we'll see what it looks like I don't know. My hair's pretty straight right now. I don't know how that will work. We'll see. Um, and then, you know, all the paperwork, all the things, all the directions, which I probably won't use. And then a glove, which again, I probably won't use. I have some of these. I should use them because I burn myself all the time. And then it says it comes with a little travel pouch, which is so nice too. Very good. So we'll plug this baby up and give her a whirl. Okay, y'all. I was trying to like set you up back in my towels. And that wasn't working, so I got the tripod. I put this baby on full max. Probably not what I'm supposed to do. Ooh, you know what I, ooh. Well, right out of the gate, I love it. It made it shiny. <laughs> My other one doesn't do that anymore, probably because it's um, old and needs to be clean. I am gonna, I don't think I ever reviewed this stuff for you. I love this stuff, this IGK. This is the stuff that's supposed to be like a frizz fighter. I better bring this to New Orleans. Um, you're supposed to put it on before. Um, you can do it like before you dry your hair, before you flat iron your hair. I also got this at the same time. It's just kind of meh. I mean, it's good hairspray, but it was expensive. And I don't know, whatever. I probably will not repurchase that. But this, I gotta say the smell is not amazing. <laughs> product is good somebody remind me to um bring it with me to New Orleans because I'll probably forget I mean this paired with that spray yes please sorry I'm just looking in my mirror here okay I'm trying to find one that's like not straight to like at least give you a preview here this one's kind of like not straight I mean, not bad. I am not mad at it. Okay, let's try. I mean, my hair was already straight, so this is kind of like, you know. Let's try this. This is what I do to my hair when I, um, like when I'm wanting, like, um, just like a wavy curl. I just do this. Okay. It's pretty good. Let me try another one. And then my hair is bone straight. And I have a bunch of like, when I do my hair straight, and I know I'm not going to do this to it. Hang on, I'll show you what I put in it to make it like really straight. So it's going to be difficult to get a curl today. But it's doing it. Look at that. It's hard to see. I mean, it's giving me curls. Ooh, I think I like this, y'all. I use um, this, which I absolutely love. Um, the It's a 10. If I know, like, okay, I don't have time to curl my hair. I'm just blow drying it straight and going to bed or whatever. I use this. And I have a travel size of this, so I don't have to remember to bring that. <laughs> and then I use a little bit of this kind of on the top to smooth stuff. This Velveteen Dream. Um, I get all this stuff from my girlfriend Mary's um, hair store. She gets, like, it's like the... Uh, outlet I guess you call it now I might have to straight oh I'll straighten these back out and we'll see how it looks um so like all this stuff is already in my hair now if I was going to curl it hang on I'll show you what I put in I have it packed because I use it while Merritt's mullet 
I feel like this is crooked. I'm sorry. Um, if I was going to, if I knew I had time in the morning or if I was going to like wash my hair in the morning and let it air dry and I knew I was going to like curl it like those little curls I just did at night or whenever, I would use this verb spray and let it air dry or sometimes I even do like the, um, like the diffuser on my hair and do that. And then it's got body and it will actually do my big pretty curls, but like this was not a fair shake because my hair is very um, heavy and weighted down right now because I wanted it to be straight. Anyway, I got to bring this tonight because I spritzed the back of Merritt's um, mullet and put that in it and it makes it look halfway decent. All right, let's see. Okay, so we got a wave. Let's see if we can straighten it back out. I like how it makes it shiny. Okay. Well, I think so. I like this. Who's texting me? Okay, let's get this one. I don't even know why I'm bothering. I'm literally going to have a beanie on my head because it's so cold in that place, y'all. Are we getting somewhere? Look how shiny it is. Ooh, that is hot. I might have it a little too hot. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. I don't like that. Let me see if I can fix that. Why is it giving me a crinkle? Okay. Did I get it? There we go. 40 bucks this is going to get me through for a while. So I like it y'all. I like how it makes my hair shiny. This is good. Okay. I'm done with this. I need to... Go check on that video, get a few more things done. Um, I think I am just gonna talk to you in the bathroom. Is that weird? No, I'm not, okay. Hang on. Okay, I had to put my tripod back in my mending room because that's what I use to watch my phone in the morning. So now I gotta put this little, ooh, we are fuzzy because I'm moving around too fast. All right, this is what I use to hold my camera with all the time. So I gotta put that back on, okay. Um, I, I think I am gonna leave a little bit earlier than I thought. My hair's so smooth. Um, and stop by Dollar General even though I really don't want to. But I need to get their Valentine's things done because they're gonna probably open, I don't know, four of them before we leave probably unless they just wanna open four when they get back because they're gonna be gone the first part of February. Okay, here's what you do. Go get you some bags, I'll show them to you. <laughs> And then in the next video, you'll see how I put it together, but you'll be prepared so you're not struggling the day before Valentine's to do it. Get you some little baggies. I saved mine from last year. Let's see. Um, am I even in frame here? Who is that? Okay. Um, put you some numbers on them, or you don't have to put numbers on them, whatever. You can choose them at random. I just have, um, do I, oh yeah, I have 14 little numbered baggies and some of the stuff I bought is going to be too big I already know but that's fine um all in pink and red and then you just use a little jute or string or whatever you want to use um and kind of tie it somewhere to make a banner and or like a garland and then you use cute little do you see how cute these are they're little like cupid arrows um but they're clothespins you could just use plain clothespins y'all in fact I know I don't have enough yet see I'd use some little plain clothespins too because I don't have enough of those cute cupid ones. Anyway, clip the little baggies on the garland so it looks pretty in your decor, but it's also a, um, a countdown for the kids. And I'm gonna put like ma those mad lids, a little helmet in there. You can put teeny mates, you can put any little blind bag. If you have a girl, I mean, go nuts. Obviously girls are way easier. Um, but I gotta go get candy and maybe, I don't know what else. The problem is, I think I do like, 10 on the garland and then I set four of them up because I don't know where I put my garland is not big enough to put all of them on there um so I have like four that can be a little bit heavier because they're not on the garland but the rest of them have to be light or else they'll fall so it needs to be like candy sticker you know just fun little stuff you could do lottery tickets anyway we'll see what I come up with if I can't find anything else or don't find anything that I like to shove in them I'll do lottery tickets and I'll do get I can do like five dollar switch gift cards anything you want to put in it as just a little fun countdown you could just do candy too or you could just do you could just have the little um numbers and just count down and not even have a gift but y'all know me I'm extra so have that ready and then on the next video when I show you putting it together and I have the stuff you'll be ready right along with me <laughs> all right I'm gonna take a few minutes here and um steam Merritt's little 
sure it probably doesn't matter one bit nobody will probably notice but i just want everything to be perfect um so i'll just take a few minutes here and steam these wrinkles out and then that will be all done and ready to go okay i had to get some stuff that craig forgot he's already there um i just did my saddle club um bank deposit so i got all that done um i don't know i was gonna try to go to dollar general and get that candy and stuff but i don't know maybe i'll just wait till tomorrow oops i had to move anyway um Maybe I'll just vlog tomorrow and then just go to Dollar General tomorrow and get it. I'm gonna be so exhausted tomorrow, but it'll be fine. Um, I need to do it because I gotta have it done before we leave. I wanna have it done before we leave. Anyway, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go get them some teas quick because I have time for that. And then I left my earrings. I don't even have anything cute on because I have to wear that big coat the whole time. I know I will because it's so cold. So I just have um, a coral, um, one of my Walmart sweatshirts that I love so much. And then I just grabbed my North Face um, fuzzy vest that I always wear with this just in case. And then I did bring this turquoise wild rag too, but I didn't grab any earrings. So I might run back and get earrings quick. Not that it matters because you can't even see my ears. And I'm like I said, I'm probably going to have um, a hat on the whole time. So I don't know y'all. I'm just, I'm a little stressed. Can you tell? <laughs> well, nuts. The tea, lifted tea place closed at two. It's 2.30. I did go by stop by the house and get my earrings um okay i'm just gonna go to the gas station now because i need gas and then i'll just get them like a fountain pop or something at the um gas station and then head to school to get them okay i didn't know what to get but i knew they were gonna want a snack so i got them both a couple of lays they love these big cup things but i don't know if they like it with the Reese's pieces i think they do anywho i got them a couple of those merit diet coke koi um mellow yellow so they will be caffeinated and ready to go and y'all know i got myself a monster yes i did they were pretty excited about their snacks all right buckle up let's go gotta go gotta go gotta show got rodeo. <laughs> all right we are here we made it we gotta get everybody's dressed you got gloves mary you need gloves they're in your bag um no he's wearing all right we gotta go find craig First, I need to put my coat on. Just in time to wash back up. All the way, get him all clean. Hello. He looks so little when his <laughs> hair is all wet. <laughs> At least we got the place to ourselves. All right, we're blowing them all out, getting them dry. And we'll get them ready. Yeah, just feed these kids. They wanted pretzels, so I guess I gave in. <laughs> Getting him ready. All hands on deck. <laughs> this kid. Doc's almost done. <laughs> Trying to keep him calm. <laughs> it's go time. It's game time. It's go time. Merritt, let me see your number. You look good? All right. It's home. Oh my gosh. <laughs> showmanship first, y'all. All right, he's going in for showmanship. Uh, that'd be the one I'd 
deck to be the best bat. Young man's red and white steer out here just gets out forced by the one ahead of him. Uh, this calf's just a little bit flatter there right in behind his shoulders. He's not quite as good there in the base of his stifle. Uh, but I just think from a build and quality standpoint, that steer is still a square build. Maybe just not quite uh, the same punch as the calf ahead of him. But just from a build and look and quality standpoint, I think he needed to go second today. I think there's a Right, Merritt's got to go back because he was reserved like second place for the middleweight steers. So we got to see what happens next. All right, y'all, it's late. We are all done. Oh my goodness, we'll give you a recap later. Now, show me what this is. Oh. Hocus pocus. You, it's basically oil, and you put it all over them to get all of the sticky paint and all the other stuff that we put on them to make them look so good. You put all that on him and like deconstruct him. Not deconstruct. What's it called, Craig? Not deconstruct. Breakdown. breakdown. It was breakdown. I'm sorry. One of the fitters came over and had to tell him thank you. Anyway, he did so good. Full update all coming. Or remember, I figured it'd be break. Breakdown would be the one dog remember because I'm always breaking down. What about we're watching him at home then? Okay. So even longer night. Merritt, how'd you feel? Felt good? He did good. Okay. Here we go. Merritt's got to go around and find all our cans <laughs> and all the tops. Merritt, show me all the stuff because I didn't get to do that for tail adhesive. It's the stuff you use for the tail. And you use it on the legs too. It's just like sticky stuff to make the hair do what you want it to do. What's the other stuff, Merritt? Oh, that's your color stuff. So you got white spray and then copper spray, which sort of matches this. Because sometimes like over here, I hope you can hear me. Like this part is like a little bit discolored. So you spray white on that to make it nice and pretty. Like this white over here. So you did good, boy. Look how tired he is. He's so tired. He's so tired. <laughs> okay, breaking the shoot down. Hey, I remember at that time it. breaking it down. It. Nice. Now we just roll it out. Maybe. Hopefully. We gotta clean this show box all up. We're home. It's. 10 15 the boys are struggling to get out of the car i set the switch up before i left because i couldn't help it um they don't they don't know that it's here let's see i'm fixing up to go out and help craig um wash doc last year we washed him at the show and then just came home and we were all done um but whatever, we have warm water here and he wanted to do it here. So, this is what we're doing. I don't know what they're doing out there. Probably went back to sleep. Okay, recap. He did so good. I don't know how much I videoed of showmanship. That was kind of not the best. Um, as y'all know, this is his first show of the year and he has not practiced um, near as much as he should have with his arm situation and us being Mississippi and all the things. Um, so, um, and also the age breaks were 10 and under and then like 11 to 14, I think it was. Oh, you got everything. Nice job, buddy. Good working. I knew it. I was like, Mary, do you think mom got the Nintendo Switch? <laughs> Thank you, are you so much. Are you excited? We'll have to set it up tomorrow, okay? No way. <laughs> anyway, so Merritt just turned 11 like what? What's today? I don't know, 20 days ago or whatever. So he was like the youngest in the um, junior class and you could tell, but it's fine. It is what it is and he had a good time. And then, so he went in for his class after that and did so well. Like it was a big class too. And um, Doc looked so good, I thought. Um, and that went better. Um, his cl actual class, Doc acted better and did better, I thought too. So we had a good night it was fun good first show out ripped the band-aid off oh gosh she's talking about ripping i just want to peel the stuff off of it it's so satisfying okay just whatever anyway um is mary still asleep I'm so tired uh he he's so excited because um he got second and he knows he got second if you'll remember last year i don't know if i've 
I don't know if I vlogged the whole day or what, but I videoed. But he won his class last year at this show and went right back in for the final drive because Marty was so big. He was in that heavyweight class. Um, and they never announced who won. And he was, that was his first cattle show ever. And he's so used to horse shows where they announce your name. And they never announced it. And he had no idea what was going on because at horse shows, you don't do like a grand drive. Like you just like win and then you leave or whatever. You get placed and then you go out. Like you don't come back in for... At least not our little horse shows that we do. If we were doing like a big state show or something, he would be used to that. But like, anyway, he was like so upset last year because he was like, I didn't win. I didn't get anything. I'm the worst. And we're like, you literally won your class. But they didn't, it, whatever. So this time he was like, second yes, because they called his name. Anyway, I'm going to go get married out of the car. And now he's already got this thing. Can I do this? I don't even know what that is. Okay. Well, did you put United States? Yeah. The Americas. Okay. Is that right? Where? Mary, come on, bud! This? Um, Must. I guess, yeah. Okay, he's coming. Let's see if he'll be excited. What's the password? Um, I'm not sure. We'll do all that tomorrow, okay? This is my own Nintendo Switch. But the old one or the new one? What do you mean? What does this do? Oh. He's a tiger, buddy. <laughs> He's like a zombie. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be the worst morning ever. Okay, y'all. I'm going to end this one here. Um, Merritt, just go put all that stuff by the front door. Um... Thanks so much for following us along for this fun first Can cattle show day. Lots more cattle shows to come. Please just wait. In the, in Chicago. In the USA. You need Chicago. Oh, isn't Chicago Central Time? Oh. So when and um, where did you get that? Today. <laughs> oh no, is Daddy driving back around? I gotta get off here. All right, thanks so much for following us along. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.